<laughs> shoes have the ability to make or break an outfit. If you choose the right shoes, you can take an average outfit and make it mwah, perfection. But on the flip side, if you choose the wrong shoes, you can take a potentially great outfit and make it horrendous. Today, guys, in an attempt to help you up and elevate your shoe game and always make the shoe that you're wearing the proper sexy shoe for the outfit, I'm going over some of the biggest men's footwear don'ts that you should never do. The first men's shoe wearing don't is don't wear flip-flops or sandals or any shoe that exposes your toes if your toes are fugly. So personally, I think that men's flip-flops kind of get a bad rap in the men's style department. I have seen them look incredible on dudes that are dressed appropriately, right? Not all the time, not in every situation, but if it's warm, if you're wearing a sexy pair of shorts, nice button-up, possibly a polo, a t-shirt, these bad boys look great in the summer. But you got to make sure that your toes aren't funky as fuck. Nasty, crusty, thick, and discolored, and nasty, and crusty, and calloused, and then, 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 definitely not. The second men's footwear don't is don't wear boat shoes ever. Now, some of you are like, what? Alpha, no, boat shoes are sexy spurries. Spurries are ugly too. Gentlemen, boat shoes are ugly. There's nothing sexy going on. Why would you wear something like this when you could wear something like this, all right? This is a Thursday minimal leather sneaker, super sexy. You can dress this up, you can dress it down. It looks great with shorts, it looks great with chinos, it looks great with jeans. These don't look great when paired with anything, in my opinion. The third men's footwear don't, I'm gonna throw myself under the bus. Don't waste your money on trendy sneaks. These ugly ass shoes were like $600. They were Gucci. I saw them, I was like, ooh, they're kinda cool ugly. The truth is that they're just kinda ugly. I wore them like three times, and then I realized that I didn't really like them. What's going on right now in the men's footwear space is insane. All these big, ugly, like Balenciagas and dad shoes, right? You're gonna wear them literally for like a month, and then the style's gonna change, the trends are gonna change. You spent a ton of money on these super outlandish, crazy sneakers that you literally are never gonna wear again. Instead, what I'd recommend is go with something that's a little bit more timeless, right? It's not only gonna work now, it's gonna work in six months, a year, two years from now. That's a better use of your money. Now, if you've got a ton of it and you're like, yo, I just wanna try something trendy and stylish, then go for it. But if you don't have the basics covered, you shouldn't waste your money. The fourth men's shoe wearing don't is don't wear dirty white sneakers. Now, a little pro Alpha M sneaker tip is grab a box of these. The Magic Erasers are amazing. We're keeping your white soles white, also your leather clean. The next men's shoe wearing don't is don't try to dress up running shoes. Don't try to dress up fashion sneakers. Don't try to dress up ugly whatever the hell these are. You cannot dress up casual sneakers, all right? It just doesn't work. It doesn't look good. And when you try, it makes you look like you've got no clue what you're doing. It's not that I don't love these other shoes. It's not that there's not a time and a place for rocking Jordans. I think they're sick. But you cannot dress them up. What you can dress up in terms of sneakers are those super sexy minimal leather sneakers. Whether or not it's something clean and simple like this Thursday boot white, this sneaker is perfect in terms of proportion, right? Look at the toe box. Not overly round or bulky or pointy. It's just clean, simple, and sexy. The profile, not too thin, not too big, just perfection. This obviously is the premier low top in a white, but I've got it in like every color that they sell because I love it so much, right? This one is coffee, and this one honestly is a perfect sneaker, right? And the reason why I love it so much, look at that patina on the toe. It's so crazy comfortable. It's sexy. It looks great. Now, another one that I was a little bit on the fence about, but I got it, and as you can see, I wear it all the time. It's another one. This color is Old English, all right? It's like a darker brown, but it also has like that patina on the toe. It's a great casual shoe that looks amazing with shorts, with jeans, but also with those great lightweight cotton pants. And you know how we talk about stepping outside of the style box to evolve stylistically? Well, I stepped outside of the box with these, all right? It's the Premier High Top by Thursday boot in a toffee color. I love these so much, right? They're so sexy. The color is sick. The patina on the toe, amazing. Now, if you're like, yo, Alpha, they're sick, but I'm really a fan of white. Well, guess what? They also come in white, and I recently got these. Guys, bottom line is this. If you have not checked out the Thursday sneakers, you have got to hit that link down below. The link is special. Go through there and check out the options. If you are in the market for a crazy, high-quality, sexy pair of sneakers, whether or not it's a low top or the new badass Premier high tops, hit that link down below. But like I said, they do sell out. And with the supply chain issues that are going on, guys, it's taking them longer to actually replenish their stock. They just got new inventory, so if you're interested, guys, 
guys, now is the time. Do not wait because summer is the perfect time for a super sexy pair of minimal leather sneakers. And it doesn't get any sexier or more minimal than Thursdays. These bad boys are the best. Hit the link. Check them out. It's not just my opinion. Everybody agrees. These are incredible. But they're not incredible if you can actually see your socks, which is the next mistake that a lot of guys make. And that is visible no-show socks. So check it out. Two different socks on my feet. This is an athletic sock that is very low. If you try to wear it with a shoe, you're still going to be able to see it, all right? This does not look as good as the no-show sock. When you slip that on, it disappears. Even though it's low, you're still going to see the sock. The whole idea of wearing a no-show sock in the summer is that it disappears and is not visible, so it makes it look like you're not actually wearing socks. The next men's shoe wearing don't is don't wear overly dramatic or pointy shoes or boots, all right? This is an example of a pair of boots, in my opinion, that's a little bit too pointy, as opposed to something like this. Notice the shape of the toe box, a little bit more natural, a little bit more subtle. It's going to be more versatile. It's also going to look better on most dudes. The next men's shoe wearing don't is don't wear beat up or scuffed up leather shoes. All right. What I'd recommend if you don't have time to polish your shoes or you don't have interest in learning how to do it, just grab one of these. It's a quick little like Insta sponge, right? It's a natural color. You can get them in brown. You can get them in black and get them in the different leather colors, but it's quick and it's easy in order to quickly take out any superficial nicks or scuffs and make your shoes look clean, sexy, and almost new. And since we're talking about leather, let's talk about leather, which is the next men's shoe wearing don't. Don't wear fake leather shoes. Unless it's for like reasons like you're vegan and you just don't want to wear animal skins on your feet. And don't give me the whole it's cheaper because honestly, it's not. When you think about how many times you're going to have to replace cheap plastic shoes, all right? Leather shoes, if you invest a little more money and by a little, I'm like talking 25, 30 more dollars than what you would spend on a cheaper pair of shoes like that you would find in a place like, let's say, Aldo? Zara, Top Man, like any of those like shoes that like look like leather, but if you, if you, if you, if you smell them, they're not leather, gentlemen. The deal is they're going to still be like a hundred bucks. If you invest a little more money in a higher quality pair of shoes or boots, guys, it's going to last you longer. What I'd recommend, guys, is stretch. Stretch a little bit, all right? Now, it doesn't mean that you got to spend $500 because there definitely is a price point. You get what you pay for oftentimes when it comes to shoes. Now, once you get over that like $200, $250 price point, then a lot of times it's just markup, it's just margin. And that's one of the reasons why I love Thursday so much. They are offering you a crazy premium product for an incredible price because they're direct to consumer. Guys, if you are in the market for a better shoe experience, whether or not it's sneakers, it's boots, I want you to hit that link down below and check out Thursdays. But for you guys out there that are in the market for new shoes, I personally would invest a little more money and go higher quality as opposed to going cheap, even if it looks good. The higher quality shoes, guys, in terms of leather, in terms of construction, in terms of components, it's going to look better, but it's also going to last you longer. You can wear it for years and not have it look all rough and rugged and crazy and crappy. Gentlemen, invest a little more money in your footwear game because shoes make the difference between you looking amazing and you looking like a dork.